The Centre for Nano Health is a, is a major strategic project for the university. It came about uh, through collaboration between the Colleges of Engineering, Science and Medicine. Some 10 years ago, we all started to work together, really looking at the opportunities of uh, taking nanotechnology that we've been applying in industry and then translating that into the application within healthcare, trying to create uh, smaller, better, uh, sensors and devices that potentially patients could use in the home rather than having to go into the hospital. So Centre for Nano Health has been very successful really since its inception. The, the project's been around now for three years. We opened the doors to the centre just at the beginning of 2012. In those first three years we've already attracted over £30 million of research income to cover a, a wide variety of projects. So NanoHealth is the application of nanotechnology in, into healthcare. We created a, a unique uh, multi-million pound facility that enables us to do our top quality research but also work very closely with industry, in particular the, the hospital, so that we can create relevant devices and structures that will really improve people's uh, well-being. NanoHealth is really going to move medicine forward. There are huge challenges facing medicine, facing clinicians, facing hospitals, both in the UK where we have a public health care service and overseas where there's private health care services that are paid for by insurance companies. We have many areas of expertise really centred around the creation of new sensors and devices, uh, working with clinicians in the hospital who provide problems in terms of health care that we try and solve with them. This really encompasses things like looking at blood in microscopic detail, also looking at the creation of scaffolds for new tissues that can be grown, for example, to repair wounds, using new techniques uh, involving optics and lasers that can be used to diagnose uh, uh, problems with uh, disease at, in unprecedented detail. We're working in Swansea to really develop these devices but using the needs of clinicians in the hospitals locally to, to really help us answer these questions. What do they need? Why do they need it? And if they could afford tests, which ones would be the ones that were most important? There's an emerging area in medicine, personalised medicine, and linked to that a field called companion diagnostics. So nanohealth, nanotechnology, and our devices and sensors programme is really going to allow us to take the lead in doing that. The area of regenerative medicine and tissue engineering is really allowing us to develop new ways to heal wounds in the body. This involves novel nanomaterials that we're developing in the centre, and it also integrates it with the area of stem cell biology. So we're taking a person's own stem cells, integrating them into nano scaffolds, and allowing us to regenerate tissue that can go back into the body and make a real full recovery for that wound. Really, the use of nano allows us to shrink things as well. So really, in the name nano, is allowing us to take laboratories, which are huge rooms, down to small portable devices that can be taken anywhere. In 2008, we went through a research assessment exercise that really judged the quality of our research work in a national perspective. The engineering work related to nano was actually rated fifth in the UK out of something like 52 institutions. So it's really doing top quality international research. Similarly, the College of Medicine, the, the Institute of Life Science, which is the research arm of that college, was rated seventh in the UK of just 70 institutions. So when we put those two areas together, we have a really powerful uh, in, uh, collaboration that really drives the research here at Swansea. NanoHealth is set to revolutionise healthcare in the years moving forward. Healthcare is undergoing great changes, we need to know more answers, we've got more tests we can carry out, but with that come escalating costs. We work with many international collaborators, people leading the field in the States, for example in Texas, we have very strong links. Now we have joint PhD programmes with some of the leading researchers in that field. 
We've recently attracted something like £600,000 from the Engineering and Physical Science Research Council to allow us to build our excellent links in this field. We're now talking to leaders in Europe, based in Grenoble, and extending our research reach now as far as China. NanoHealth is a multi-billion pound market going forward. There is immense opportunity for the work that we do here to really contribute to the global market in this area. I'm a biologist by training. I've moved into a medical school where I've really found the importance of where my biology can be applied. But then I've also had the opportunity to work with colleagues from different disciplines, from engineering, from physics, from mathematics. And when you bring those people together, and when you bring people from the hospitals in as well, and you bring people from industry, you suddenly have a powerhouse of thoughts and it really advances your concepts, what you want to deliver. And really, it allows you to make strides, big changes, rather than just incremental changes you may do when you're in a very narrow field. So it's been incredibly exciting to be involved in that. And we see it just as a beginning. We've got the centre now. We can only continue to grow it and make things more successful. In the future, we see the Centre for Nano Health as being a real global driver for new research ideas, working with large multinational companies and creating really something that is very sustainable and unique to Europe in Swansea.